Hey, Annalisa. It's Annalisa, you cocksucker. Anna Lisa. It's Italian? Ugh. Anyway, you know I was still feeling guilty a little bit, you know, about uh, not going home this weekend? I was once an alcoholic myself, so I'm speaking from personal experience. If you show up naked to your grandma's funeral just once, your family will never talk to you again. Trust me, I wish it were that simple. I ain't got a family you can just uh, walk away from. I think you know what I mean. Oh yeah, I get ya. The Quakers. People may laugh at your strange and foreign customs, but I find them charming and quaint. You guys invented the cotton gin and the printing press and bananas and flying cars and- What? You got a fucking cannoli in your ear? How many times I gotta tell you, I'm Italian. i Italian. Yeah, yeah, Mongolian, I get it. So last summer, my parents left me alone in the house for a day. Of course, they didn't tell me they were having the house fumigated for scorpions. So I'm sitting in the kitchen buck naked with the yellow pages, and I'm, uh, getting in touch with my manhood, and I accidentally pop my cookies all over the escort pages. So I toss it in the dishwasher, threw it on the rinse cycle, and I ended up smudging all the ink. Yeah, 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 that's great. Is this going somewhere? Yeah, so like two months later, I caught my dad under the bridge with a seven foot tall transvestite and he's like, you see what I've been reduced to? What the hell happened to the escort pages? Then I'm like, ever since you rehid your back issues of jugs, it's the only thing around here I can masturbate to. Why are you asking? What did he say? He says, I was looking for a whore, Larry. Lately, your mom's been too busy eating bonbons to clean out my rope. I brought it up at my Gamblers Anonymous meeting, and my sponsor asked me, what the hell does that have to do with gambling? And then he threw a poker chip at me and hit me in the eye. Whores. You pop too, eh? And you spit in his face. Right in his face. Ah, what a pair of gaguzis on this kid. Oh, man, when I'm home, it's crazy. I'll wear one of those fake arrows through my head. I taught my cat to tell my dad to go to hell. I put some food down in the milk, and my mom's like, why is the milk blue? And I told her Papa Smurf peed in it. <laughs> Whoa, what a pack of zingies. You doing all this at your parents' house? I actually, I, I set up a pup tent in the backyard and, and, and took my boom box mm -hmm. out there. I woke up my dad, and he ran out there and, and kicked the tent down. He was real mad. That fucking prick, that's what I'm talking about. You try to have a good time, they kick your pup tent down. You gotta take them down with cunning quickness and strategy. Next time your mom gives you attitude, you give her the crippler crossface into the figure four and have her beg for mercy. Thanks, but this is a family thing, you know? No outsiders. See you around.